Hi there, George Merley from Footwork Podiatric Laboratory. Just showing you how to download the new version of the TechMed app. You need to open up the App Store and type in TechMed. Once you do this, you'll notice TechMed 3D comes up at the top of the list. Select this option and the 3D Size Me app. On the top left is the app that you've all been using on your iPads. Now some of your iPads will have automatically downloaded the update already. But if not, select Update, open the app. Once the app's open, you'll notice all of your existing patient data has carried across. Go to Settings, you need to change one setting, and that's the Scan Box Placement Strategy. Change this from Fixed to Automatic. If you then open up a scanning window, what you'll notice is that the new bounding box now comprises the shape of a foot and you can rotate this image if required via the red rotate button on the left. Hi, Arthur here from Footwork. Today we are here to show you how to use the new updated scanning app based on the structure uh, scanner along with the uh, use of an iPad. The previous app was fantastic, however it relied heavily on operator input in order to reduce the bounding box or the scanning area which had a great bearing on the quality of the scans themselves, quality meaning accuracy. The new update gives us the ability to produce an automatic bounding box which removes any errors or that may be made by the podiatrist or the operator themselves and thus greatly increasing the accuracy of the app or the scan. So as previously you enter the patient's name, save it, enter it correctly because that information is being transferred eventually onto your orthotics themselves. Select your right foot and now you can see an outlined shape of a foot. You place the target area on the foot and move it in closer until it goes green. You press align and start scan. Now start scan. As you can see this one, I aligned it a little bit too high thus cutting the toes off. So I press reset and go again. We want to see the toes, the full foot. I press align and start again and now I have a nicely sized up foot. As you can see from the video, the bounding box or the scanning area is much smaller than you would have seen previously. This vastly increases the accuracy of the scan. So much so, when compared to a Delcam scanner, there's about 0.2 of a millimeter difference uh, with the iCube E500, which is probably the most accurate scanner there is on the market to date. Again, like with the previous version, you go around slowly, smoothly, keeping an eye on the, on the green distance bar, make sure it's in green as much as you can. Going around the areas at least twice to make sure that you've got a nice smooth finish. It's kind of like spray painting. You then check your scan, make sure everything appears as it should, and there you go.